What is up everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are talking about the Squiddy WH again. And this time I actually have the new version to show you. Um, the, it's the first prototype I've received of the new version and it is basically finished except for one small change that was uh, suggested by Buffness Flips, will, which will be um, in the final version and I'll talk about that in a second. But anyways, let's talk about the updates to the Squiddy WH that are gonna be available on March 13th. So last time I told you March 6th, but I told you that date wasn't set in stone completely, and it was not. Um, we ended up adding some more changes and it became a little more complicated. So things have been pushed all the way to March 13th. So go to Squid's website, um, get signed up for the newsletter, get ready for that drop. But yeah, the drop is happening on March 13th, probably at 11 a.m. PST. That's usually when they do it, but don't quote me on that. Remember, go to Squid's website. Click the link in the description to get the actual information as to when the final version will be dropping. But anyways, let's talk about that final version. This is not that final version. This is prototype first production 000 out of 100, all right? What is coming is this. Now, these two may look relatively similar, but one of the first things you'll notice is that this one has a bit more of a side shine than this one, and there's a reason for that. This is the new version of the Squiddy WH, and there's a lot of cool features that we have implemented that I think you guys will really like. So, <clears throat> the old version um, has, the, the handle shape is very similar to the original Squiddy B. It's basically a Squiddy B that we added um, our own texture to to give it a lot more uh, handleability and a lot more grip. The new version includes extra rounding. So the handles are actually more rounded than they used to be. Um, and this change has actually made a massive difference in the flipping performance. It's honestly fantastic the way this thing feels to flip. Like you can feel it immediately comfort-wise in your hand. You go from something which isn't uncomfortable at all, but it, you can feel it's a very square feeling. And when you try to fan it, you know, it, it, it kind of clunks a bit because it's so square. This thing feels so smooth in the hand. So adding that roundness was something that we uh, thought would make a massive difference, and it really has. The next feature that we've added is the jimping. The jimping has gotten deeper. Not a ton deeper, but deeper by a small margin. And we've also added one more line of jimping. So you can see on the old version, it was... Uh, that deep on the new version it is this deep which is slightly deeper it means that you do get a little bit extra grip off of that jimping and so for me i think that that performs even slightly better than the old version the old version was good um i will say the new version is really close to skating the line on feeling like sandpaper um, which is why, as I said on the previous one, like uh, the very first model we had, we had done a little bit too much jimping and it was just not good. Um, so here we're trying to really skirt that line and make sure that you get like the best performance possible without it being really uncomfortable. And so I think this, this kind of nails it. It gives you way better grip from the jimping than the uh, first version. And the first version already gave you way better grip than a regular Squiddy did. Um, so this is a whole new edition and honestly will be a great way to learn ladders because I actually first learned to ladder. I have no idea what that squeaking sound is. I don't know if you guys can hear that on camera, but there's this weird squeaking in the background. Anyways, um, I actually learned to ladder on plastic balisongs because it's easier to sort of learn to ladder. Oh, they're doing construction. Very cool. Um, it's, it's actually easier to learn to ladder on a plastic balisong than it is on a metal balisong. And so that's where I learned the motion. And then once I got the motion down, then you can kind of bring that to a heavier balisong and work up the strength to be able to do it yourself. Um, like with something like the Vulp, you know? Um, so yeah, that jimping was an important feature to work on, but we also added this. Ooh, jimping to the blade. No, it's, it's a bite handle marker. Um, it's basically the same bite handle marker from the Squiddy AL. Um, and some people said the, the bite handle marker on the Squiddy AL wasn't noticeable enough. Um, like it didn't actually feel like anything when it hit your fingers. Well, thankfully this one, um, it's the same like size basically as the Squiddy AL. It's not exactly the same, but it's really close. And 
um, it actually is much more noticeable because the plastic itself is just rougher than finished aluminum. And so you will feel it. Uh, it's not uncomfortable, but it is noticeable. You know, it's not, it doesn't hurt you or anything like that. Unlike um, the, the Vulp, the Vulp will absolutely let you know when you fuck up. And sometimes it'll like, it'll catch you on that bottle opener, um, which is intentional. I kind of, you know, it's, it's the bite handle. It's supposed to bite you. Um, but on a squiddy, it does not need to do that. So yeah, there is a bite handle indicator, but you don't have to abide by the bite handle indicator. Like it's a little bit uncomfortable to chaplain with it, but it's not so uncomfortable that you can't chaplain with it. Therefore, if you wanted to just flip as though there was no bite handle marker, you can. Um, otherwise, there it is. Also, in the box, the squiddies actually come with a bite handle marker, like a, or a bite handle indicator um, that goes around the uh, handle. So you can, you know, put that on there for an easier time visually assessing which handle is the bite handle because it is kind of hard from the silhouette. Obviously, it's a mirrored silhouette. So trying to figure out which one has that uh, bite handle indicator on it might be a little bit hard while you're mid flip. Um, but you know, obviously it'll come with a bite handle indicator in the box so that you can have that on there and flip however you want. I think that's really good because I think the Squiddy has needed a bite handle indicator for a long time. Um, I think the Squiddy is a great pra practice ballast song, but, um, and, and, you know, I, I, I think there is merit to flipping without a quote unquote bite handle at all. Like I do think that, that there is merit to that. People have created some really interesting combos and ideas based off of the concept of there not being a bite handle. However, um, I think for something like we're trying to create, where we're trying to create something that is like the best plastic training device, um, something that you can bring with you on an airplane and then like actually use throughout the portion of like, maybe you go to a trip somewhere where ballast songs are totally illegal. You could bring this and not have to worry about it. And it's just way better. So that's kind of the concept here and why I wanted to uh, include stuff like the bite handle indicator. All right. So the main changes so far are the rounding, which is honestly a shocking difference. Like the rounding makes this thing go from being a good flipper to a really incredible feeling flipper. Suddenly the fans on this thing feel amazing. Um, also, you can see the, this is the version with the updated logo. You can see my, on my original prototype, the logo got kind of messed up. Um, this is the, how the logo came on everybody's actual final production unit of the first production. So the logo is just going to be this way always, but I wanted to show that off on camera because it looks really good matched with the Squid Industries logo. Um, so obviously we have that rounding. That's really important. That jimping as well has added a lot of usability to this ballast song if I didn't uh, mess it up. And then the bite handle indicator, right? But then there's actually one more thing we're changing too, thanks to Buffness for pointing this out. The uh, O-ring actually gets affected by the jimping. So the jimping actually creates this sort of like small crush pattern in the O-ring. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but the O-ring gets crushed by the jimping when the jimping closes on it. So you can see right there, it like kind of crushes it. And it's even worse with this deeper jimping. The deeper jimping really crushes the O-ring. And over a long time of flipping, it's absolutely going to leave the O-ring kind of gnarled. Um, and so to fix that, what we're doing on the final version, so this version doesn't have that change, but the uh, final release version will, we literally just removed the jimping from that one spot where it would touch the O-ring. So the jimping in that one spot just isn't there. So there's like an empty space for the jimping on the inside of the final unit, which looks slightly weird, but at the same time, like once you're actually flipping it or whenever you like hold it normally like this, you literally would never notice. Like I, I just realized that it was, we were thinking of different ways that we could solve that issue. And then I, we just came up with, no, we should just remove that one jimp because it's, it's jimping. So it's, it would be a jimp. I don't know. Um, we got to remove that one jimp and just get rid of it. And then it, it, it won't be a problem. Like it, it, it doesn't look bad uh, at all on the final unit. Um, and it fixes that problem that Buffness pointed out. Thank you, Buffness, for pointing that out. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the uh, thick and thin of the upcoming drop 
for the Squiddy WH. There are some really cool changes happening. I'm very, very excited about this new version because I think that it is going to be, um, honestly, a game changer. I think you guys are really going to like it. Uh, it, it does a lot of the stuff that I wanted from the original, and it just does it ever so slightly better because of those small uh, updates that you guys helped us sort of decide on. So, yeah, um, very excited about this thing. Thank you guys so much for your feedback on this. Like, we wouldn't have been able to do this without it. Um, I've been really thankful for all the comments on the videos that I uh, have posted about the Squiddy WH, asking about it, um, trying to get y'all's feedback. Um, you know, even though I, I don't know if we're ever going to update it again, but if we do, I mean, let me know your feedback on this current iteration. Um, you know, if we do need to update it in the future, it's something we can very much uh, figure out. Uh, but yeah, I would like to know, do you even like what we've done so far? Does this seem interesting to you? Uh, are they good updates? Are they useful to you? Or do they seem a little bit like silly to you? I don't know. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. And uh, I guess I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, remember, March 13th, that's when the drop of like this brand new, the fully finished model will be March 13th. All right, put it in your calendars. I'll see you. Peace.